Today I'm going to show you how to set the timer on a lazy spa pump unit. This was actually a request from a viewer called Victoria Elizabeth. So here it is, Victoria. The instructions that come with these are utter rubbish. And I firmly believe this is the best guide for using the timer that there is on YouTube. So make sure to watch it all the way through. A quick word about functionality limitations. The timer can only be set for one operation. And once that operation has completed, you have to reset it if you want to use it again. It isn't capable of repeating the same function over and over again. I oh know, a black mark against best way there, really. It would not have been difficult to have achieved that in the electronics. You might think, well, no problem. I'll just get myself a decent plug-in timer. Sorry to disappoint you, but you can't do that either. There are two reasons for that. One, if you interrupt the power, the RCD trips, and when the power comes back on, the RCD does not come back on. And back at the pump control unit, if you interrupt the power to the pump control unit, when the power is restored, it comes on with a blank screen and does not pick up from where it last left off. I know, yet another black mark against best way. First, make sure that the power is on at the pump unit, holding the power button for two seconds if it's not already on. This is the timer button and we are going to make two settings. The first is the duration for which the heating unit will remain on and the second is the time delay from now for when the heating will come on. If needs be, unlock the display by holding the unlock button for three seconds and set your desired temperature that you want for the water. I'm setting 36 here. Make sure that the heater is turned off. Press the timer button and the display will start to flash 008 and we are now going to set the desired heating duration. Use the up and down buttons. You can set from one to 999 hours. I'm going to set four hours here. That's my duration. Press the timer button. Now we have to set the delay start time. I'm going to set two hours. Press the timer button to confirm. The display will now cycle between the current water temperature and how long there is to go before the heating comes on. If at any stage you want to check the settings that you've put in, first make sure the display is unlocked. Press the timer button and it will show the heating duration first, four hours in this case. Press the button again and it will show the time delay, two hours till the heating comes on in this case. Press the button again and it will return to normal functionality. You can choose to leave the circulation pump on or turn it off, but that the circulation pump will of course come on automatically when the heating comes on anyway. But you can save electricity by leaving it turned off. If at any stage after you've set the timer, you decide you want to cancel the timer function, make sure that the display is unlocked, press and hold for two seconds on the timer button and it will cancel the setting and the LED behind the timer button will go out. If you got value from this video, please consider supporting the channel and I shall see you next time.